Either the developers got to go spend the money to upgrade the utilities or they end up not being able to do the development. Going back to the issues that we were talking about, I and mean, the biggest issue that we have in, at least in the South, um, is the number of entitled lots that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just not enough entitled land and the development process is so long and it's so expensive developing mm -hmm. you know let's say a 10 or 20 acre parcel of land you're you're 18 months two years from purchase to by the time you break ground on your on your first house you've got a really long uh time frame to do that and um they just make it really difficult. There are some areas in, in North Carolina that are easier than others. They're, they welcome that type of development, but you know, just, just the number of entitled lots is crazy. Cause it's funny. I was out, you know, we were out in Salt Lake city a few weeks ago for the power room mastermind. And that's where I'm from originally. And when they built that entire city, they built it block by block and they basically entitled all of the land as building lots. So, they just have an enormous amount of of entitled land out there we didn't do that here i mean you know you could be driving on a road in north carolina it might have four or five names as you right. Right. go from you know county to city to county and there's you know big farms and there's you know little lots here and small developments and and it just really mm -hmm. makes for a complicated process for um for building new developments not to mention one of the things we're running up against now as we start doing some smaller developments is uh water and sewer capacity mm -hmm. so you know Kannapolis, for instance we were going to start building some more houses up in Kannapolis, and then they put a moratorium on building because they didn't have the sewer capacity yeah um, I, I, I know that happens through throughout charlotte too in certain areas yeah because the infrastructure was built in the you know 40s and 50s mm -hmm. and they're starting to figure out that this stuff is not just it, it, can't handle the you know the extra uh capacity that they need to to build these developments out so um you know either the developers got to go spend the money to upgrade the utilities or they end up not being able to do the development so you have a pretty big wholesaling company as well um, yeah and that's I've like our you. that's like our red-headed cousin we don't talk about <laughs> <laughs> But but um, I've heard you say that 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 business has also helped you acquire a number of lots as well. Um, yeah, by yeah, that yeah, yeah. We, well, we built this huge marketing machine for our wholesale business. And, you know, I, I think if, if my memory serves me right, we spend 60 to $80,000 a month in marketing. Ouch. Um, and so <laughs> when we started doing spec building, all we had to do was go and turn on the land switch you know, and, and next thing you know, we've already got the team that's taking the calls and doing the cold calling, doing all that. So that it was really easy to do that. So that, that helped a lot. Absolutely.